Hey guys, how are you doing? Today is um, December 9th, um, Friday. Um, we haven't um, analyzed Dutch pros for maybe for one season already, one or two seasons already. And yesterday I took some time to look at the share price, the report just um, launched it, just the performance launched it one month before. And I found that it's not so bad, right? Not very good, of course, but not so bad, right? So um, we will take some time today to take a look on that performance. And then um, the readers just reminded me that the um, Fed will discuss on the next um, interest rate, maybe on maybe increase at 15, 50 points. That means half percent on 14. That means next um next wednesday next wednesday and then there they will be um ready for the christmas and then is the new year and then we'll we start a new year on um normally is on about middle of january right normally it's like that so this year is um to be ended very soon All right so we have um very shaking years right for investors not only for stocks maybe for the um treasury nooks and then for the whole world then on china is um easing the um zero covid 19 policy zero case policy now is easing and then we hope that we hope that for russia and uk will be end soon right but it seems not it seems um will not be ended this year right they are still fighting but because now it's very cold in uk now it's slowing but you we can see it on the internet then now is a heavy slowing so they've been stopped a while then maybe we looking forward for um the spring of next year right Okay, then for our Falcon portfolio, then uh, we decreased it a bit and then rise it yesterday. Then we have um, 40, actually it should be 45 months. And our portfolio been have um, increased it for 41%. All right. So for any of you have any questions, then you can leave your questions under the YouTube. Or you can directly email to me by usstockmarketweekly at gmail.com. This is our covering and I will not repeat the business of Dutch Pros because we've been introduced it for um, two or three times before already. Then you can simply uh, think that is um, providing coffee or some um, drinks for um, the drivers for the cars. Then you can you can treat it as um, car shops, right? For coffee or for um, some drinks, right? So this is one of the um, car stock, right? So this is our covering. Dutch Pro's performance has great improvement for this season. And this is yesterday's Dow Jones after it dropped it for a few days. Um, of course, because it's going to increase the interest rate, right? So it's been, right, it's been finally settled it, and then yesterday, Dow Jones rise that um, 183 points, then just so so, right? Just so so. You can see that it's an up and down, up and down around 33,000 and 34,000. Then also for NASDAQ, right? Still is 11,000, just up and down and up and down this year. So this is our Falcon 350,000 portfolio. Then we can see that we have a lot of stocks still um, rising, right? For Alphabet, not as good as before. Apple, also not as good as before. Before should be 100%. And Adobe has a drop of 5% and AMD because of a tech stock. So still have 14% drop. And then AutoZone is the best. Right, just um, three months, then we have 12% um, increment. And our final is 41% for past 45 months 
So we can see that compared to uh, one week before, the US 10 year Treasury note yield becomes 3.456%. And then one week before is 3.543%. Nearly the same, right? Not much changed. So we have some headlines and then we start um, very simple discussion on the performance of Dutch pros. So what to expect next as China then easen the COVID controls, All right? Then it will, um, President Xi will back to China from Saudi this afternoon. So we'll see if this can be sustainable, All right? That means then the zero COVID Zero COVID-19 policy been totally vanished or some will remain or something like that, right? We'll see that, right? But we will expect or the global is expecting um, where we lose and um, where we um, good news for um, losing the inflation of the whole world because we know that the supply chain has been broken or very tightened for UK, Russia, and then for China, right? So that's what we are going to expect. And then the stock market now in Hong Kong is rebouncing. Then uh, we also expand. We also expect for uh, U.S. if U.S. Um, slowing the increment of the interest rate on in next year, 2023, then we will. Uh, we love to expect a very good rebound of the stock market in the next year. And Apple been um, raised his hand and said that actually Apple's been, Foxhorn, right, been reported that um, she is helped to pressure China to loosen the COVID control. Because then, because a lot of, we know that there's a big worker strike in Zhengzhou in Foxhorn and then a lot of the shipment of iPhone, no matter it's iPhone, iPhone Pro or iPad been delayed, right? Um, it delayed nearly 30%. And then actually now, the a lot of workers in China has been back to their home, their home village and then it start for the Chinese New Year holiday, right? The Chinese New Year holiday will start at January 22. Right, so actually for now for December and for January, then um, up to till, until um, middle of February, the production of Foxhorn in China is very small and very slow, right? And she said that she's been helped to pressure the China government on this easing of the COVID-19 policy. Then we just love to hear that, right? But um, We'll see because a lot of workers already back to their homeland already. And then another one is just as I said in the beginning of this program is some of the we sometimes we it's hard for us to understand for the market. Actually, Lululemon's performance is very good. No matter is in the revenue or is in the net income also peaks. Also, beats the consensus, and then is it positive, not a negative? But the news then um, leak out is that the market um, is not very welcome for that because it's not good enough. So it's not easy for us to focus how the stock price will go in a short time. Right? We can see that the performance is very good, no matter its revenue, no matter its net income and the comparable sell, uh, shop sales, all is good, but from the market, then tonight when she reopen, then she will drop because it's not as good as the market um, foresee. So it's difficult for you to pay in a short, in a short time, right? Then this is what it is. And then another one is Costco. Then Costco just announced that the result. Actually, for Lululemon, Costco, or another one, Broadcom, we will detailly explain or analyze the performance in our Hong Kong program. So take a look on that. So for Costco, we know that it's bad, right? We know that it's not very good. So um, in this um, these four days, the 
stock price keep going down, keep going down, and it's reflecting the um, sales not so good already. Then we know that the first quarter, then just up three percent, and then it's not um, a lot of figure is not as good as it forecast in the um, in the last season. So we will have a uh, detailed analyze on Costco. So um, just pay attention to our Hong Kong program. But that is charged. And then another one is Broadcom for 5G, right? For 5G, um, you can see that for the um, chips, right? The earnings revenue, very good. Top of the SMA. We will also then, we, I do not want everything to be so boring, right? So maybe just Blue Lemon, Costco, and then other. I will add some more stock into under our, right? We call that, we call that our microscope, right? Then it's put it under our microscope, put it under our watch list. Uh, we do not want everything is yes, very boring, very repeating. Then, but we are enlarging, but of course we enlarging, we put our eyesight on the stock that are have potential, then it's good, then not everyone. Then if it's just dropping and dropping is no use, right? So uh, we will also analyze Broadcom in our Hong Kong program. The performance um, so far is good, right? So long is good. Okay, we take a look on the Dutch Pro's performance. So we can see that it's not good, right? After it's been um, go through the IPO, right? But actually, then it's giving you an impression that it's not dropped it further. Then it somehow stopped it at thirty something. That means it stopped it at her IPO price, right? That means if you bought it um, on the IPO, then you still not lost, right? Because maybe you also bought it at thirty five something like that, right? So what happened? Like other shops, then it has two parts. One part is operated by um, Dutch Post herself, and then another part of the shops is by franchise. You can see that for the past five years, the franchise shop is not increasing. And if you also look at the right hand side, you can also see that the revenue of the franchise shop also not increasing. Very clear, All right? Then we can see that for um, the company operated, that means her own shops, you can see that the revenue keep on increasing, right? And then from the calculation, the company operated, then for the compound um, increment, compound growth of the revenue per year is 39%, right? It's in the number of shops. And then you can calculate by yourself for the revenue of her um, own operated shops. Right, that is in a uh, million, 88 million, 152, 245, 404, 514, something like that. Right, it's in the same pace of her opening of more shops. Uh, we can have a look on that. Then the gender of her customer mainly is female. Right. So at what age? 16 to 25. That means teenagers. Right, not babies, of course, right, and not um old ladies, of course, right, not the elderly. That means the um main um gender is um woman, and then the age is teenager, sixteen to twenty five. So we have um um not um quick look on that because it's very um obvious. We can see that for the past few months past few months, that means from um, July, August to end of September, right? To end of September, the revenue increased by 53% compared to one year before. And this increment speak is faster than the past nine months. Most probably happened in this quarter. But we can see that why she has a good result. You can see that at the bottom, at the bottom, you can see that the diluted net income, three cents, but one 
one year before is twenty four cents, but it's a loss. That means she improved a lot. Where and how? By saving the money, you can see that the cost and expense decreased by twenty point nine percent. Mainly is that. Mainly is that. Otherwise, she will keep on losing. So what happened? Because we can see that in the middle, interest expense and other expense not decreasing, increased it, right? Six nine five five, and then one year before is three four three four. So maybe she is um cutting the people, right? Quite quite obvious she is cutting the people, cutting more staff. That's what it is. So the Senate general and administrative expense. Decreased it a lot, and the cost of sale increased it. Right, that means cutting the administrative, cutting the general staff, something like that. Right, but the point is, this is not sustainable. You cannot keep on cutting people; <laughs> otherwise, there's no staff. Right. So take a look on that. Right. So we um use a simple calculation. Right for the assets, current asset, cash. You can see the cash increased, it, right? For um, cash, anything, uh, even for inventory, right? For inventory, then we will um, we will delete everything like not related directly related to can be turned into money, like the goodwill, intangible asset, something like that. So we have um, come to the asset, no matter is current or long term. Ninety six point five million US dollar, right? Okay, for the liabilities, no matter is long term or the short term, right? Also, we will cut the uh, finance, uh, uh, finance um, ease obligation, and then line of credit that is not related to the business. So the liabilities one hundred eighty five million US dollar, and then there is no net income. So you see that is not. Where we could, because the asset just have half of the liability. This is not good, right? But the point is the in, the improvement from Dutch Pro is because she cut the stuff. That is the main reason. But the point is, for the one or two seasons more, can she further cut the stuff? No. Otherwise, no people, right? No staff. Then you need to close your company, right? So it's just for temporary, right? She get the performance improved. If we need to see that, if the business also um also in the same place got um improvement, we need to see one or two seasons more. If the coming season is still okay, the profits gets positive, and then the um. We can see that we go to next page, right? This is you can see that the loss, the cash from operating activity, still a loss, and then after adjusted, that means everything not related to operating take off. The net cash provided by operating activity, right, is still less than one year before. So we are quite clear that she is cutting the staff. To save the money, All right? We need to see. We need to see one or two seasons more to see if she will have a real、um, improvement on the business, not only by cutting the staff, right? Of course, you can you can cut some cut some shops, no problem. You can cut the shops, cut some shops, the shops that are losing money. There's no problem, right? You can save money on some area that you should not spend. It's okay, but the point is,、um, you can. By cutting the people to save the money cannot be sustainable, right? But if like that, that means then she has a lot of staff that is too many, right? So actually, a company should always reveal that you should not allow any any cents spent is not needed because it's a publicly listed company. You have to be responsible for the shareholders, right? Okay, we share up till here, and then、uh, please give us a like, comment, share if you like this、um, program, 
and then please subscribe and then press the bell icon next to it so whenever there is a new video uploaded you will be informed immediately by youtube okay thanks for watching and then i hope everyone have a very peaceful weekend see you next friday bye bye